is she very hot though? As in warm. Catpot. Yeah, but I'm not ready for them yet. Why am I fighting with the wig? Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 44 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. You are you have clicked on this video because you want to know what I hold in June. Mm, it's quite a lot. It's not even all in this box. It's um, yeah. I, I think I don't know what happened. I think I went panic shopping or something along those lines. Uh, let's kind of start then with the wig in the room. That's the wig. This is actually the first wig that I uh, bought. I bought three. I also bought a wig stand hat thingy majingy that is still downstairs because I forgot to bring it up. But yeah, this is the first one and this is a very long one. Let me stand up. Very, very long, um, cheapest chips, but I kind of wanted to know if I liked it, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I have uh, another one that is shorter and that is with a bit of pinky hair. I will put a picture up because I did already film with that on my head. You, you all have seen me wear this wig in the Let's Talk makeup from, what was it? It, it is the, 7th, the 29th of June. Yes, in that video I have the pink wig on and I uh, also got one that's straight, that is shorter, but that is uh, black uh, roots and then grey down that I kind of need to style. So yeah, I thought let's for fun see put the wig on because I can. That's basically the only, re only reason. I get my wigs at AliExpress. I know a lot of you get them on Amazon, but yeah, for me Ali is just easier. I will link the wigs that I have down below in the description box. Uh, for now, let me, before we go any further, um, s get everything out of the basket so I can talk about it. And yeah, to be on the safe side, grab a drink, grab a snack, because I will try to be quick. But yeah, you know, let me first get everything out of the box. Okay, why is it that always... <laughs> Getting everything out and in order that I want to talk about it takes usually longer than the filming part itself. But I think I think I am there now. Yeah, let's put you there. I, I'm kind of going to go by brand, but also order of application. Well, not really, but something that makes sense in my head, or at least I hope so. Oh yeah, if you hear a fan blowing, it's because there's a fan blowing. It's hot here. Let's start, let's start with... Um, telling you that uh, in the description box of this video the products that i will mention will be listed there and i will leave the playlist of my hauls down in the description box and i will leave my month in review playlist down in the description box because in about i don't know one month two i don't remember how i did it i thought it was two but i'm confused now i will come back and uh, give you my um quick reviews on the products that i hold in this month um so yeah most of the stuff i'm going to do videos on or have already done videos on uh if i have done some videos i will link them in the description box as well but yeah without kind of further ado let's get into it otherwise the video will, will be five hours long and no one wants that it's also too hot here to sit here for five hours just saying let's start with skincare and i have the boxes here because i have the skincare downstairs yeah i forgot to bring it up i ordered uh, some new things from the inky list i ordered the q10 serum and i ordered the alpha arbutin i actually wanted the niacinamide but the niacinamide is is sold out everywhere that i can order the inky list uh, from and mine is almost running out just keep that in mind um but i uh, ordered this from look fantastic i wanted to get something else that i will mention in just a little bit but i didn't want to get just that i kind of wanted you know they had the inky list as well and i thought that's nice because there are stuff there is stuff that i want from them i have wanted to try alpha arbutin for a very very long time however the one from the ordinary um, I think is largely in silicon and that just doesn't fit into my skincare routine. That's basically it. I have no problems with silicon, um, but that is the reason. And uh, I really do like the Inky List. I like the ingredients that they have in there because they uh, don't focus on solely one ingredient like the ordinary does. Um, but they also put in some extra and sometimes I really really like that. So here I have the Alpha Arbutin. I have been using it now for a few days. So I don't see a difference yet because it takes a while. But basically Alpha Arbutin, uh, it says here on the back, it brightens skin, uh, fades dark spots and it hydrates skin. And the hydration is because of the... 
uh, glycerin that they have in here. They also have some hyaluronic acid, yeah, but it's it's pretty lower uh, on the ingredient list. But they put a bunch of stuff in here. They put fermenta fermented stuff in here. They put uh, peptides in here. So basically, I get I get more because I have more from them, and I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I I wanted this because of my rosacea that I have, but also because of I don't really mind my hyperpigmentation too much. However, I also have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation here. I just put a freckle here, but that is actually a red spot because I, you know, so. That is why I have this one. Uh, then I also got the Q10 from the Inky List. I wanted to try that one as well because I heard that... Oh lord, this wig is warm. Uh, that it was really good for everything. Uh, reduces fine lines uh, and it hydrates because of the stuff that's in here. And I like the fact that they put the glycerin high up on the ingredient list. And not the hyaluronic acid that's lower down. Um, but yeah, I have heard good things about Q10 and I really wanted to try it. Um, but because my niacinamide is almost out and I cannot find it. Uh, because it's sold out everywhere. I know they're working on the restock. But I was like, I don't want to be without niacinamide. I ordered from a Revolution Skincare. I wanted to try this one. Their 15% niacinamide serum. I haven't uh, tried this one yet because I still have my niacinamide from uh, the Inky List. I'm curious to um, try this one. Um, then I bought again this one, the vitamin C 12.5%. They also have a lower one. This is in a jelly texture. I really, really like this one. Uh, as of yet, from all the vitamin C products that I have tried, I actually like this one the best. If you are not familiar with vitamin C, they also have a lower percentage one. I would suggest... Starting with that. And then this, I don't know if it is considered skincare, but I'm going to mention it here anyway. I got a Lash and Brow Boost Elixir from Catrice. Lash growth, visibly fuller eyebrows. I have been trying, this is just the, the thingy is downstairs. I have been trying this, but mainly for in my brows. That I don't really use it here. I don't know, I, I kind of find that mm, scary. Which is weird because I put falsies on, but still, I kind of find that scary. So I use it in my brows, especially here. And I also kind of use it here because, yeah, I, I, I kind of think that my hairline is a little bit too square. So I thought, I have it, let's try it. I cannot really say anything about it just yet because I have been using this for about a week. And I use it twice a day in case I forget, which happens quite a lot, actually. So let's... What are you doing, kitty cat? Hello, kitty cat. Oh, there's a kitty cat here, obviously. Come on. Come on. Hi. There's that. Uh, you see cat tail, it's the way I roll today apparently. I don't know if he will lie down or anything. But yeah. Uh, so if I'm a bit dark, it's because I'm sitting a little bit more back. Is this handy? You can see yourself here. Hi. Okay. So let's let's then Catpot. Uh, let's go to applicators uh, or shell. No, I'm going to a component next. Thank you. I'm going to a component next. That's this one. Uh, I got this off of AliExpress and it is a powder component. It comes with a puff. This is what the component looks like. And I actually bought this because of the Kiko Milano powder that is just in a horrendous packaging. So I actually threw it in here. Uh, they have a bunch of different components and I really, really like this. So I'm very happy that I got this. I will link it down in the description box. I got it off of AliExpress where I usually get everything a lot of the time. So let's next go to the next thing from AliExpress because I can. And that's this. This looks dirty because I used it today. They came in a set of two. One is in a washing machine. This is a, well, basically a Tati dupe, I think. It's very, very soft and I haven't used it to apply my makeup with just yet. What I do though is when I put my foundation on with a sponge, I actually press over it. And I like the fact that this has a nice tip because this is what I use to set underneath my eyes. I have just found, especially now in summer, that I kind of want to press it in. And this is amazing for that. I will link them down below as well. Cheapest chips. So yeah. Um, next, I got a Juno sponge. I don't really, I, I don't really know if I like it. It's, I, I know, I think they're a bitch to clean though. Let me just say that it's nice, but I don't think it will be my favorite sponge. I don't know. Uh, then I will, I, I, 
I, I need to go quickly. Yeah. So I also got a real techniques one, a normal one without. I have the one with that that thingy here. Yes. And I actually got another one because they had one in the drugstore here. I just bought another one because I really love those punches. Then Boozy Shop had their 12 year anniversary sale or one of the sales, and you could get one of the Revolution Advanced Complexion Expert Soft sponge uh, for uh, one euro so i ordered two uh i actually really like them they're really nice and soft so there's that let's next go to uh brushes because i ordered two new sigma brushes i ordered the e45 which is the small tapered blender which is bigger than the morphe one um let's uh, here i have the e33 so it is a little bit bigger it's also a little bit stiffer but it does have a nice tip let's not go there And then I also ordered this one, which is the FO3, the high cheekbone highlighter. I really, really like this brush. Just saying. So yeah, uh, I am really in love with Sigma brushes. What can I say? Let's next go to cream products. Uh, I have another blushed uh, color from MUA. This is in the color taupe. I don't really know what I think about this. I, I think it is not, not, not really for me. So here is the color. Yeah... Maybe I could use it as a cream, um, not really a contour, but maybe as a cream bronzer. I haven't tried that. I can try that because as a blush, I don't, yeah, the color is a bit wonky, but the formula, I really, really love. Okay, let's next go to this from, um, I need to, I need to kind of explain these two. I know there's kind of a faux freckle thingy going on. Betty Jean has been on that train for quite some time and Ned just jumped on the train and I was like, it looks so cute. I have, I thought it looked cute for a very, very long time. And then I actually looked at myself in the mirror really well. Yes. And now that we're in summer, my natural freckles are coming through. And I was like, I kind of like that. Uh, I want to, because I have natural freckles, I kind of want them to show through. Um, but I also want to reduce the redness that I have in my face. So it's kind of, you know, like that. I was like, I think faux freckles will really work for me. So I ordered the one from Lottie London. I know that Betty Jean used it and she liked it. And I was like, it's the cheapest one that I can find. Freck was sold out everywhere. Let me try this one. This one, I will swatch it on my hand, is the reason that I actually got the one from Lime Crime. It's a nice product. Don't get me wrong. Um, it, this one has a brush, but this is the color. It is a very warm color. If I use this, it looks like I have blemishes or... Um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the red spots, it looks like I have those on my face. It does not re really look pretty. So I got the one from Lime Crime and this is a pen and this is in the color Coca. And I think it's the, the darkest one that they have. This is a pen and I have built it up, but this is the color and this is the color of my freckles. This is what I have used today. This is what I kind of use to make this more of a freckle instead of a blemish um, but yeah i really like this because this kind of makes it look a lot more natural instead of cake face does that make sense uh yeah so if you want warm freckle you can go with the latin london one which is also more pigmented uh, that could be good if you want that and this one is a cooler one and is a little bit more um well not as not as hefty right off the bat i do store it upside down to kind of help with the it i also do that with my um eyeliners yes the liquid eyeliner so i'm going to do it with this one as well okay let's next go to uh yeah from cream products yeah so let's next go to x revolution because i have ordered a bunch from them i did a video on it it is online i will link it down below i got the hydra fix primer i actually did two videos with this this one i compared to the milk makeup primer that i will link down below uh and i will link the video where i tried out the revolution x products uh, down below as well but yeah so i got that one i also got uh the foundation What's the thing called again? They have weird names. This is the Double Fix Foundation. The satin one, so not the glowy one. I have mine in the color FX7. I have it on my face today. I do really like it, but the color is a little bit off. So I do mix kind of a yellower one in. They say this is a medium... Uh, medium 
yes with neutral undertone but it is a bit too pink for me so uh, and actually a little bit too light not gonna lie i can make it work if i bring it down a little bit further but if i just look at my face i need a shade darker but i do like the formula i also got a concealer conceal x i have no idea the concealer that they have in the shade cx9 which is a peachier one um so if you have a peachy undertone the fx9 the foundation also have has the peach undertone and the 10 has a golden undertone and i think i actually need the 10 the golden undertone so i have it in my cart i haven't bought it just yet but yeah maybe i will uh, i also got the clear eye base uh the translucent one which is a little bit more of a it's a it's a weird formula but a bit more hydrating so if you have dry lids you will really like that like this if you have oily lids it's too wet so maybe that will help you make up your mind oily lids it's not for you drier lids try it out just saying uh, let's next go to what's this oh yeah i also got this i got two eyeshadow quads uh, this is extortion and exclusive so here are the ones that i have and if you want to know some uh, uh, first thoughts go watch uh, the video uh, and if you want additional thoughts they are coming but not in this video it will be too long uh, i also got the bronzer in the color demo i have it on today the color is is nice they have one that's lighter and that is a little bit more cool toned um it also says so cool tone bronzer that's the, actually the one that i want to get as well this is a little bit i think it's a neutral one i don't know i never know with bronzers i have no idea then i also have a blush in the color cliche which is they say it's a terracotta and i kind of agree I have it on today as well. It's very, very pretty. If your undertone is yellow, it pulls more to the orange. If your undertone is pink, I think it will pull a bit more to the peach. Just saying. I'm neutral, so it's basically the color that you see is the color that I get on my, on my cheeks. So there's that. This is the highlighter that I got. This is the shade Strobe. They say it's a frosty rose, I believe. I don't know. But for me, it's very pretty. Uh, I again have it on today. I don't think this is a rose, though. For me, it's more of a, I don't know, champagne-y. I, no, I have no freaking idea, people. The components are very, very nice. They feel uh, luxurious. Uh, they are... I know that a lot of people complain about the price. Let me just say this. Maybelline, for us here in the drugstore, same pricing. So I don't think this is too expensive. Uh, it is basically our normal drugstore pricing. So yeah, um, then I have Lippy. I don't really know what they are calling this, but I have the color Sequel. This is a very, very nice formula, guys. Um, if you think this is too expensive, this formula, uh, go to Revolution and order their cream liquid uh, lipsticks, which are, I think, like the NYX cream ones. Those are very, very comfortable, cheapest chips, but these are very, very nice as well. Um, I know that a lot of people, I'm going to say it, a lot of people rave about the Maybelline Superstay formula. I hate the Maybelline Superstay formula with a passion, but um, the longevity of that liquid lipstick is legendary. It stays on all freaking day. This doesn't completely dry down, so it stays a little bit uh, tacky like the Maybelline Superstay, so it takes a longer time to dry down, but this stays on all freaking day without that heavy, gloopy feeling. Just saying. Definitely, if you like the Maybelline Superstay but want a lighter formula with the same properties, try this one. This is the color Sequel. I will, or I will swatch it for you because I can. This is the color Sequel. They have more colors that I'm kind of eyeing. And this retails for 10 euros, I believe. Uh, I know it's 10 pounds. So yeah. Uh, let's next go to the last thing that I have from... Well, not really. But I'm going to group eyeshadow palettes last so i have here mm, i have here uh, a blush from i heart revolution it's the blushing heart in what was it candy queen queen of hearts it's one of these uh, for me now it's a little bit too light i wish i had this this one for instance i can swirl it if i concentrate on this one i can make it show up barely uh, i'm too too dark for it now to have it really show up but i do really like the formula so i wanted to try it out okay uh, let's next go to some pencils then let's start with this from catrice it's the bow brow pen pro uh in ash brown it is it has uh, a brush on one side and then on the other side it's one of those triangle ones and i have one from mua that i tried out that i liked and i wanted to try the one from catrice this is a nice color for me uh, this one is a little bit more i think more waxy um 
so yeah uh, at the moment i still prefer the very slim one that i have because it is pretty warm where i film this is a little bit too soft for me right now to be really precise with you know so um yeah the color is good i do like the formula but i'm going to use it when it is a little bit colder here um but if you like a waxier thingamajingy uh, you can try the one from catrice and then i also got two eye pencils um i did not i had a silver but i did not really have a gray so i have the color absolute graziness from their uh, color and contour line it's a twist up and it is just a steel gray it's so pretty i could have used it. no it's so pretty I haven't used it yet, but I do like this formula because I have the bright lavender one, the iridescent purple one of them or lavender, whatever. I have one of these. Um, I had one of, I have, never mind. I like the formula. Let me just say that. And then the next one is this and it is called, what's it called again? A copper kiss. So it is not as coppery as I uh, wanted it to be. However, I wanted it as a replacement for this one. Well, it's not really, is it? It's more gray. Uh, so I wanted it for as a replacement for, for one from Hema. But I don't think it's the correct color. No. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of mute. But I do really like the color. So the color is here. It's a nice... I don't know. It's a very... Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. But it's a very pretty color. So th there's that. Um, then I got from NYX. I still want a light blue eye pencil. A baby blue eye pencil. So basically this color. Uh, I thought this was it. But it wasn't. This is the, the Vivid Brights eyeliner in the color Love. From their uh, Pride line. This is also a twist up. And while it is a very pretty shade. It is more uh, lavendery Than the uh, light blue that I was going for. But still pretty. And it's a very nice formula then because i was on a hot pink liquid uh, hot pink lippy hunt i also got this one from nyx this is the dazed and diffused blurring lipstick in the color my goodness and you get a, a brush on one side and it's actually a pencil on the other and this is a very <laughs> this is a nice hot pink look What I like about this is you can just put it on as a pencil and you can, if you want to diffuse it, fade it out, you can really play with it and it works nicely. See? I think the concept is really cool. Um, and I think the formula is nice as well. So yeah, there's that. Then I also got as a gift with purchase um, another uh, liquid lipstick mini from Ofra. This is in the color mo Mocha. Mocha? 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 I don't know. Let me swatch it. Here it is. Which is also cute. I like Ofra's lipsticks. So yeah. Uh, let's next go to eyeshadows then. Uh, I need to get one. So let's uh, start for eyeshadows with stuff that was ordered before. But I have gotten it this month. Let's start with the Studio 54 collection from Nomad Cosmetics. I have waited for this a month and a half. Maybe even more. Just saying, but it finally got here. I did film a video with it. A chatty get ready with me. I think it's online already, but I'm not sure, guys. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I have it here. It's an eyeshadow quad and two highlighters. Let me show you really quickly. So here's the eyeshadow quads. They're all duo chromy shades. And they're more along the lines of toppers. If you have their Tokyo palette, like the bottom row, it's basically the same formula. And then here I have the shade Disco Nights. And then here I have the shade Hot Shot. So Disco Nights for me, the orangey one, uh, orangey peach is very pretty as a highlighter and as a blush. And this I will probably use more as an inner corner highlight. Because I don't really use colors like that as a highlighter on my face. The formula is very, very nice though. I also have a discount code uh, with uh, them. And I will leave it down in the description box. I think it's Nikki Raven 10. So let's go to the next thing then that is pretty controversial. And that's this one, the Cremated Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I ordered it uh, on release uh, along with someone else who lives in the Netherlands. And we kind of split uh, the shipping cost and the import tax and all that. And then kind of shit hit the fan. And I was like, what do I do? Um, but yeah, the palette is very expensive. I cannot return makeup. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I, I do know that a lot of people really want to see this palette. So I did my videos and I uploaded them. I did a six looks and review and then, uh, no, I did eye swatches and the review part in the eye swatches and I did six looks. Guys, I really wish that this palette was by someone else. 
I'm not gonna lie, I love this color story. I think the quality is really, really good. And I am going to keep on using it. It cost me a pretty penny. Um, and yeah, you know what? I have already given him my money. So yeah. I know that a lot of you love the fact that I have done especially the eye swatches. And uh, it always gives me a lot of traction on my channel. I, I, I really haven't decided yet. I'm going to leave the videos up. I am still going to play with this palette. Because I love the palette just so much. It's just, it's a little bit... You know, so yeah, I know uh, some of you really want me to stop supporting him. I know others uh, just really want to know how the palette performs and you know all that and how I create the look. So it's a little bit, I need to give it a space for me personally. Let's just, let's just go to the next one because I, I don't really know how I want to express my thoughts. So yeah, um... Yeah, basically it says it all. I wish it was by someone else. I love the palette, but I wish someone else made the palette. That, that is basically all I can say. And it makes sense. Yes, so let's just go to editing me here. Um, this video was pre-planned and a tiny bit of feces had hit the ceiling fan. But not a lot. And as of yet, I think the whole sewage exploded or something along those lines. I'm having a very difficult time... Um, bringing on the words what I really want to say, but the gist of it is while I stand by what I said in my videos that I did with his palettes, I am not going to support him anymore on my channel. And that means I'm still going to leave the videos up, uh, but I'm not going to repurchase any of his stuff. Basically what I have, I have already paid for and I have already Gave, given him my money so that that point is mute but i can choose not to support him anymore on my channel by not talking about him anymore so that is going to be the gist of it i have uh, three looks that i still have to post on instagram that i did with the cremated palette and as of yet i'm not going to i have decided that um, i don't want to and while they are very very pretty looks especially the last one with the the bright pink eyeliner i love that look so so much I'm just, I don't feel comfortable doing that. And why, why is this so hard for me? I have made my, my mind up, uh, but it is still, I really want to cater to everyone here on my channel. I want to basically please everyone. I am a people pleaser. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. It, I know that about myself. Um, I know that uh, people will be disappointed by my decision. I know other people will rejoice by my decision. I know... There will also be people who just don't give a uh, rat um, behind one way or the other. Uh, but for me, uh, yeah, this is my decision. I'm not going to use his products on my channel. But the videos that I did with it will be left online. That's it. Uh, also, on a side note, I was planning on picking up the new Morphe palette. Their latest collaboration. I'm not going to either because... Yeah, kind of Morphe. I'm done with Morphe as well. I have some Morphe brushes that I will still use because they, yeah, they are among my favorite brushes. Although I have to be honest, they are kind of getting replaced by Sigma brushes now anyway. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Jeffree Star is done on my channel. Um, Morphe is done on my channel. And that that is basically what I wanted to say. And it's kind of difficult for me to say this so i'm going to stop this part and i'm going to insert it in the video before i kind of chicken out again does that make any sense <sighs> so let's just go to the next one let's go let's go to this the lucky bunny envy palette here is the color story i uh, ordered it um last no i ordered it this month i ordered it at the beginning of this month it's from australia it took uh, 14 days from Australia to me here in the Netherlands. So yeah, it's also the palette that I have on my eyes. Because this is look number one that I'm filming with this palette. Uh, I'm going to film two other looks, but this is the first one. Uh, I already did a first impression that is up, I believe. But I'm not sure. It should be up. I will link it at least in the description box and underneath the cards if I still have room. 
just uh yeah and uh, then i have two more eyeshadow palettes these uh, let's go to this one from makeup revolution this is their pride palette this is the first tin that i have it's a forever flawless uh, we are love i uh, i haven't even opened it i just took it out of the sleeve is it closed still no oh mm. yeah so This is the color story. I have not, I have no opinions besides the fact that I really love the color story. I also, why are you focusing weirdly? Yes, thank you. I also love the thought behind it because Makeup Revolution is donating a portion um, to LGBTQIA. No, let's, I, I'm not sure. So let's just call it LGBTQ plus community. And uh, they do this every year. They actually are very, very good with donating uh, to good causes. And these shade names are all names for love. And the blue one here is actually the Dutch word for love. It's called liefde. And that's the, I actually think that's cute because the German word liebe is this one. It's a light blue. But oh, I cannot wait to play with it. I haven't as of yet because I am filming with the Lucky Bunny palette. So yeah, then the last palette that I got was this one. The LA Dream from Makeup Obsession that is also still closed. Um, if I I ordered these from Boozy Shop and I they they kind of have next day delivery if you live here in the Netherlands. So yeah, I got it next day and I was like, yeah, but I'm not ready for them yet. This one though, I saw this one. Uh, I talked about it in a Let's Talk makeup video. I saw it and I was like, it reminds me of the vintage rose from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, but that one is so expensive. I cannot afford that palette, but I can afford this one. Oh, she's very pretty. Um, let me see there is wow there's no brown in here people okay so let me fold fold it back so here is the color story it is a bit lighter than i thought it would be but it is still very pretty you don't have a brown here it's it's a green and pink palette very very cutesy and i cannot wait to dig in oh wait this is not a magnetic one guys usually uh the makeup obsession palettes are magnetic so this is a heavier one is it as heavy as the sodo palette no the sodo one is heavier i have it here and the pants are different so here the sodo palette has those holes that you can pop them out this one doesn't so i do hope that the formula is still the same because the formula of the makeup obsession palettes is really really good usually but it's not a magnetic palette huh well that's weird Okay then, well that's 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 it. And there are pressed pressed pigments in here, but I don't care one way or the other. Because pre pressed pigments here in Europe are considered eye safe and they are uh, uh, the ingredients are also tested to be eye safe. Uh, FDA not so much. They just haven't tested it, so they cannot say that they are eye safe, but they're also not saying that they're not eye safe. There's a difference. The last mm, rent over. The last thing that <laughs> the last thing that I ordered were falsies from AliExpress. This was panic buy because we were in the middle of the pandemic. Primark, where I usually get my falsies, was closed. I could not get my favorite falsies. I was panicking. I was like, I need falsies. Um, so I ordered from AliExpress. So. <laughs> I got this. Uh, these are all, fo all foaming. This is the style 08. Which is, yes, spiky. There are 3D fake mink lashes. Uh, they're spiky. They're, they look cute. I haven't used them yet. These look very, very long though. So, very long for me. I don't know if I will like these. I think they're too long. And then here I have... Uh, some other spiky ones that look cute. So yeah, these will probably be backup backups for me. Um, in case in case we get an. I do actually really like this style. So, hmm. but they are more um, backups. Yeah, as I said, that was a little bit of a panic buy. Uh, so yeah, I think the video is pretty long as per usual. I am hot as hell and uh, warm. That is what I want. That is what I meant. Uh, let me let me fan myself with my nice. It, it's such a cute fan, guys. Oh. But anyway, so let me be bougie with my fan while I close off the video. Uh, everything will be listed down in the description box. And thank you so so much for watching. I if I have done a video on the product, it will be linked 
um, below in the description box, not separately, but behind. Uh, so for instance, when I list the XX Revolution products, I will link the videos there, you know, so that you can really easily find everything. I will also link a bunch of stuff underneath the cards and all that. So uh, this was it for my haul of June. It was so, so much. I will come back in uh, August, I think. It will be August for um, my thoughts on, or some additional thoughts, final review, basically, on the products that I hold today. Um, with the exception of, you know, for instance, this one, the foundation that I'm testing out currently, uh, eyeshadow palettes that I am going to film with. So they will just get an honorary mention, basically, in that video. And then the focus, I hope, will be on the products that I haven't done separate reviews on, you know, like that. So basically, a review roundup. Uh, or something along those lines so that was it guys thank you so so much for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening stay safe stay healthy try to stay sane and and cool <laughs> and i will see you very soon in my next one bye guys let's just do oh oh this is nice Whew. Best thing I ever did, shave my hair. Wow, this is very, very nice. Mm.